I wanted to speak to you about, you, you mentioned, actually, I was going to speak about Cody. You brought him up earlier. I uh, just listened to an interview with yourself and Chris Van Vliet, which was awesome, by the way. The story going into that was hilarious. But, Is that hysterical? Is that, and put a link up there for that. I will. For people, because how that all happened, I don't want to say anything, because it all gets said in that interview. Mm. Classic. It's fun. Slightly, uh, slightly more entertaining story going into it than this one. But uh, <laughs> you, you mentioned on the 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 show your relationship with Cody. You used to call him a young buck as he was a kid. What right. is it like <laughs> watching him on the AEW stage, working with him? I know you did some stuff with AEW sort of in the earlier few months, and then had a match there in January. So how's it been for you watching him? Obviously, knowing your close relationship with Dusty before he passed. Ah, super cool. Uh, when he quit the WWE, when he asked for his release, like who asks for a release when they're making a guaranteed half a million dollars a year? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you who does that. Someone who believes he's more than what they perceive. Like when I tore my rotator cuff, I started wrestling at 35, 35 and a half. Mm -hmm. And about five months in to my contract, I tore my rotator cuff in a match. It was me and Kevin Nash, the Vegas connection, um, against, um, um, God, I think it was uh, Phineas and um, the other fucking, I can't remember his name right now, uh, Herzog, but he was he was huge. He's sick, you know, he's six five and 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 three hundred pounds. And he came off the ropes with his elbow shoulder out, and I went to give him an elbow and I blew my rotator cuff. And then Bill Watts came into the company. And um it looked like, you know, I was going to uh, you know, I was gonna get gonna get let go. So I told Bill before. You know, my contract was up. I'm still, my arm's not back. I'm not even working yet. And I'm like, I'm going to go on the road, Bill. And uh, I'm going to work with uh, Jake. And uh, I'm going to come back a year from now. And you're going to pay me more money. And he said, I think that's a great idea. You know, because he's going to let me go anyway. And uh, it, it really broadened my horizons of what I saw. I learned from Jake. And Cody had already learned how to work. Now we needed to figure out how he's going to be the top guy that he knew he was mm -hmm. and having the balls to walk away from that, you know, I, you know, I, my hat was off to him. And that, that Christmas we did a, uh, we did a, um, like a year end thing. And I was like, so uh, tell us about like what's happened since you leave in WWE, you know, that was the most money because cause of the young bucks, it was really, from what I understand, because of Kevin, um, Kevin Owens, he had called up the Bucks, who he was good friends with, and said, Cody's a solid cat. You know, you guys might want to pull him into your group. And, of course, we know what happened there. And um, that year, Cody made like seven figures independently, mm -hmm. you know, because of all the things that they had. He worked his ass off. He was all over the place, you know. Yeah. He had his biggest year he ever had. And it just gave, it, it was, I was so proud of him for making it happen. Like, he wasn't going to let anyone tell him what he could or couldn't do. Like, that's me, you know. That's Dusty Rhodes. You know, that's so many guys who, that's Eddie Guerrero, <laughs> you know. You know, Ray, Ray Mysterio. You know, guys who, oh, you're, you're too short. No, nah, not really. <laughs> you know it's a, it, when your heart's this big your work ethics this big anything's possible